Want to learn what a jumping spider eats? Stay tuned as I feed my jumping spiders and go through each of the options that are out there for you. Which clearly Binks is enjoying. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Sarah with Spooky Sweet Spoods. So you got this adorable, cute jumping spider as a pet now. Yes, just like you, Pepper. So what do they eat? There are a few different options. You can do dubia roaches, mealworms, wax worms, crickets, blue and green bottle flies, and flightless fruit flies. Let's go ahead and feed a few of my jumping spiders. Sorry, Pepper. Not you. You've already been fed. Here are dubia roaches, which are a few of my spiders' favorites. We should go ahead and try to feed Salem. So what I really like about the tarantula cribs, their uh, treehouse switch, the 2.0, is that it comes with the different types of tops. So you can see she is right up there on top of her canopy, or on top of her hide. See if I can get her out. Not quite sure, but what I like is that I can take off the lid. All right, and then I just flip her over. So she really likes the doobie roaches. I really like doobie roaches. So here I got the mighty doobie feeders. They're doobie roaches. Basically. So with the doobie roaches, at least from what I've seen, is that they have the cardboard because that allows them then to find areas that they want to go into. They like to hide in little crevices, get in the dark and cozy areas. And I was told by Mighty Dubia Roaches that they, or D Dubia Fears, that they were gut loaded before they shipped. She was actually sweet enough to send me a video of them eating very happily. But now one of these guys is going to be food. So, I'll take this long tweezer tongs uh, for getting the doobie roaches out. These are really good for if you have to feed them inside their enclosure. I don't have anything really small right now, so this will work. Let's pick out doobia. They're so cool looking. Hey, buddy. Uh, er. Hey, are you volunteering? Nope. You. You are food. So I just drop them in there. Try to have a brush available if I need to scoot it. I'm hoping that she will see him and come out. Sometimes these guys just don't quite move enough. A few moments later. Not the smartest creatures, these dubia roaches. So she sees him. He's getting himself wedged up into her hammock. <laughs> he said, uh, not the smartest, but yeah. Might just leave him in there with her and she can have fun later. Yeah, he's gonna be hot. Come on, dudes. <laughs> he 
Julius sees them. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. Yeah. Way to go, buddy. He's gonna drag him back. You can see his butt's rather thin. He'd come out of molten. I fed him a few days ago. But was definitely still small, so he gets to eat again. So usually what they'll do is they'll kind of pull back the bug to where they want to go and snack. Yeah, I see what you did. Good job, buddy. Is that your food? Yeah, you did good. You can go eat now. Should I put you back? You're so cute. Another option to feed your spiders is waxworms. So we'll be feeding Rose here. So these waxworms I got from Josh's Frogs online. They are so squishy, they're just like mini gummy worms. They do move around a lot more too. All that wiggling really entices the spiders. As you can see, Rose is coming out. She's gonna like, get them. And here's Rose in all of her cute glory, chewing down on the gummy worm. Yeah, so cute. I really can't get over how cute these guys are. Look at that face! Alright. Try to feed Jack. This is my old man, Jack. He was the first. The original, he's the one that started it all for me. He also hasn't grown. I'm very confused as how small he is, but I know he has to be older. He hasn't molted this entire time I've had him. And I've had him since the summer. He's losing his ability to climb, so that's why there's web ribbon all over his enclosure. I got moss everywhere. Um, so he's my old man Jack, and I love him. He was a wild caught, but it was one of those that I just was curious about the species and was at my sister's house and found Jack and the rest is history. I will truthfully say he does not want anything to do with me. He does not want to be on my hand, but that is okay. That is what he chooses. I will respect it. So let's try feeding Jack. So another thing that you can feed. Your spiders are mealworms. Mealworms are super easy to care for. Um, the one thing you want to take care of though with the mealworms is that when you do feed your spiders, you do not leave the mealworms in there. They do have pinchers that they will um, bite your spiders, which is not good. So usually when I feed them the mealworms, I stay here and watch them till I know that they have you know, that the spider has actually gotten a hold of it and is eating it. I don't leave it alone overnight with the mealworm, so. But mealworms are super easy. You can get them over, uh, honestly, at pet stores. You can get them over at, you know, Petco, Pet Supply. Um, you can also get them over at Josh's, Josh's Frogs is a good source. I believe these are where I got them from, dubia.com. So there's a good source of 
people out there that have, have the mealworms. Alright. Alright, let's go ahead and feed Jack. Hey, baby boy. Take one of the mealworms that's pretty active. You get it? He sees it. Go get it. There you go, buddy. Man, these jumpers they are fierce. Oh, please stay. Did not bite them. Can you try again? Try again, buddy. There you go, bud. Jumping spiders are pretty awesome where they have no fear getting something that is about their size or a little bit bigger. They are indeed hunting spiders. They're great hunters. So Jack is now very happy with his mealworm. Another option to feed your spiders is flightless fruit flies. These are perfect for your slings, which are the baby spiders that you see here. They are about the same size. There are two types of flightless fruit flies and both of them vary in size. I have the names up here. I am not even gonna to try to pronounce them. The smaller size is what I'm currently feeding the slings that you see here. They are fresh out of the nest and the fruit flies are definitely about the same size as them. It's really fun watching them try to catch the food, be scared of the food. As far as for feeding them into the enclosure with the jumping spiders, there is a bit of a process. Most people are overwhelmed, I know I was too when I first started, where they are just all over the place when you open up the container. To prevent this, you put this, them in the fridge and the cold will basically make them go to sleep. And then you're able to take them out and shake them into the enclosure. And as they warm up, they'll start to move around. So there you have it. I don't have any videos of my spiders eating crickets or the blue bottle fly larva. Um, it's just not something that I feed to my spiders. But I hope that you enjoyed and enjoyed watching my spiders eat their favorite things. Clearly Binks really likes his dubia roach. And just as awareness, I am not sponsored by any of the companies that I mentioned that I get my feeder bugs from. I just more or less want to give you guys information as to where I acquired mine. So if it's something that you are looking for, you know where to go. I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay spooky.